Sorry, my my phone stopped recording. Um, we we have some things to show you that Carolyn got. So she got a little present, and she got about two presents this morning. She got this one. It rattles. And it's a little person. She likes it. And then, you want to show your other present? And she got this from her cousin Cameron. Thank you if you're watching Cameron. Thank you. Can you say, can you say, can you say this, can you say, you go, you go, thank you cousin Cameron for giving me this. I love it. Loves tags, and you know that, so thank you for giving her that. As you can see, she loves it. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what happened with me, and, or what's happening with me and Trent. Um, um, so T um, went to the doctor a couple weeks ago um, about not being so healthy. He got an evaluation, um, a nurse evaluation at work because they do like fitness, like not a fi fitness, but physical um, every year. Or they could do, I think they do two every year. But anyways, he got a physical and his blood pressure was through the roof. If you know my family and you know T, he loves monsters. He's had, he's been having to wean off of it. Um, just to be healthy, you know. Um, so he's been on a low sodium diet for the past two weeks and has to lower his blood pressure down. It's been going very, very well. His blood pressure is almost back to normal or to the normal point where it should be. Um, he has been getting headaches behind his head and he was really worried about that and the doctor ended up telling him that it was because of his blood pressure being too high. So he, she gave him <clears throat> blood pressure medication and it says right on the bottle that that may cause dizziness or it could cause dizziness. One big, big giant um, side effects among other things, which any medicine has may side effects, you know, may cause you this, 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 this. Um, but if you hear that banging in the background, it's, they're, fi they're fixing our pillar outside. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that's what's going on with him. He started having chest pain yesterday and it did say on the side effects that it may cause chest pain. Um, he wasn't having any shortness of breath though. It was just dizziness and chest pain. Dizziness he wasn't really that that um, worried about. It was the chest pain that he was worried about. Um, he did get winded very easily yesterday though. Like he wasn't it wasn't shortness of breath, but he get he got winded very easily. So he said if it keeps happening today, obviously he's gonna go see somebody. But he went to the ER yesterday, or was on his way, and then came back because he's like. I don't think this is anything I need to worry about. Um, and he said that if it keeps happening today, he'll go back. He'll go. I guess to get it checked out. Um, what else? Um, he's going to go see a dietitian today to get a meal plan and a plan ready for him. He is doing, um, what's that? It says, give a squeeze. I squeak. Oh, does it squeak? The AC height. Oh. Oh, scat. Yo. Shiva. So anyways, 
always the tags, you guys. It's just, yeah. I don't know why we buy her toys. Um, anyways, so yeah, so that's what's been going on with him. And then, um, Caroline, where are you going? She likes the paper my mom wrapped the presents in. Where'd you go? Anywho, he is eating meals that is low sodium right now that um, he's getting from a place. Don't worry, everybody. I'm watching her. I'm making sure she doesn't rip off any of the paper. If anybody has edible paper or knows about anywhere where I can get edible paper, please let me know. <laughs> um, so with me, what's going on with me is that I am, um, this last week, I went, we went, my mom went to Maurice's. Love Maurice's. Um, and, um, I went to try on, uh, some pants, I think. And all of a sudden, yeah, I think it's put uh, pants. And then, um, sorry. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, I, I looked at myself in the mirror to see what the pants looked like on me, you know, moving in them or whatever, to see if they were a good choice to buy. And, you know, good purchase, whatever. And I found out, I looked at myself in the mirror, and my stomach was bigger than it usually is. Like, it didn't look right. Like, it looked bigger. And I was like, what the heck? I was like, this is just from not, this is from just not working out for three days? Like, there's no way. So I messaged my personal trainer and I asked her, I said, you know, I haven't worked out for three days, um, but should this be, okay, you're done with this. You're done with this. You ripped it off three times in your mouth. No, stop. You're done. You're done. You're done. Here. Um, so, um, I, so I... And she's like, no, that shouldn't be the end of the world. Like, you're fine. Like, I don't... And she goes, I don't know why your stomach grew up like that, but it should be fine. Next day, I started my period. Um, so, it might have just been bloating, but it was blown up so much that I feel like something could... Someone could have stuck a needle in me and just, like, shh, like, deflated me. Like, that's how much I was blown up. And I was like, I don't understand... Well, I'm still like that today. I took ibuprofen, anti-inflammatory. Um, I took Mylol, and I don't know what's going on, you guys. Like, I'm, I'm really concerned that within three days my stomach blew up. Like, yes, part of it could be um, inflammation or bloating, which is fine. But there's no reason why I should not be able to get rid of this weight. As, as much as I've been working my butt off to get this weight off, I shouldn't have to be working this hard. There's no way. I mean, I've been working for... Half a year. Half a year I've been working my butt off. I've been working out every night. 30 minutes. Yes, I had to take breaks because of my toe bra breaking. But I was still sit doing sit-ups every night. I was doing about 106 sit-ups every single night. And doing a bunch of squats and things like that. And things sitting down. Stop it. I made that. That cannot fall. I can't make it again. I made this tumbler on a cruise. So. We did some blowing glass. We did blowing glass class. And then I got to... I got to make that and bring it home, so that was fun. Um, anyway, so I don't know what's going to go on with me, but I mean, I'll, I will keep you updated. I mean, eating healthy or trying to eat healthy. 
When my mom, when my mom was here, I wasn't eating that healthy, but just three days. Because we were trying to like get healthy stuff. Like, yes, we were doing fast food, but like we were trying to get healthy. Like, you know what was healthier? Like, with Chick Fil A, I get grilled nuggets and a fruit cup. Zupas, I got some soup. That was like chickpea soup. And chickpeas are supposed to be really good for you. It was chickpeas, kale, potatoes, and something else in there. Some kind of herb. But anyways, parsley, oregano, and then some other stuff. But anyways, um, she loves an herb head like this. You're so crazy, you guys. Just trying to get that paper. No, I said you were done, remember? I think what we're gonna do now, because we're done watching this. No, she's not even interested in anything. She's got the cocomelon and melon and be interested in. You're still watching this is gonna be a little bit of a long video but i just wanted to let you know anyways i wanted to let you know what, what was going on you guys because it is gonna affect our life and it's gonna be a life change of dieting and things like that and i will let you know what we're doing with that if anybody has any recipes for low sodium low fat recipes that are quick and easy that i can just cook up um, for lunches, primarily lunches, um, I would really appreciate it. If you can comment down below, that'd be good. Um, if you're my family, you can just text me. Um, if you're my family, text me. If you're not my family and you're just my YouTube family, family, please leave a comment down below. Um, and let me know if you guys have any good recipes. Um... Also, I don't know what I was going to say. I'll let you know what the doctor says or what the dietitian says after we're done with our appointments. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hello again. <laughs> we're back. Um, so we just put up our tree. I will insert some photos. And some um, videos of Carolyn touching the tree. She really liked it. As you can tell, she really likes it. She's a little junky right now, so I'm going to suction her in a second. No, right. Yeah. She really likes it. Yeah. <laughs> you like the tree? You like the tree. She's about to go to bed. So we're gonna get her ready for bed. And wait, do you wanna say something? You wanna say something? Do you wanna say something? <laughs> um, we finally got the right ballard. We finally got the right ballard um today. We got some the other day too, but we had our full, our full, um, ordered stay. Isn't that right? Yeah. 
And we got our food bags. Last night. Right? And, yeah. So. She's tired. When are you going to go to bed? Are you just going to cuddle with mommy? Or are you just going to go to bed? So, anyways. Uh, that's all we have for you today. Um, I'm taking out my doctor's office. My doctor's appointment. She just kind of said that I need to get to 500, 1,500 calories with good food instead of junk food and to cut out the snacks. Cut out all the junk food snacks. That's what I need to do. And I need to get fruits and vegetables, more fruits and vegetables in my day. And, um... The way that I was eating, that I thought I was eating healthy, wasn't as healthy as I thought it was. Um, I thought, oh, if I'm under calories, I can just go get a donut or something to fill up my calories. That is not true. Um, that is what's called an empty calorie. So they want me to get good calories in so, I can, so my body can use it for fuel instead of it, storing it for fat. Isn't that right? So anyways, um, I'm going to start doing that, and um, she wants my IBS to be under better control as well, so I'm going to go to a GI doctor. Um, and I'm going to, um, that being, I'm going to get that under better control with that as well. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to end it here because we're going to get my baby to bed because she's so tired. Um, so, um, she did have physical therapy today, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, um, decide to film it because I wasn't, I wasn't actually happy with the way physical therapy went. So she did great. The physical therapist was doing things that I was not okay with. And don't worry, I stuck up her candle. I was like, let's not do that right now. Um, or let's give her a break. Or let's stop doing that. Let's do something else. Like, I was definitely an advocate for candle and said, let's not do that anymore. So, I made her stop doing what was not, what I didn't think was right. Huh. Yeah. So, before people say... Why didn't you stop her? I did. Um, anyways, I'm going to end the video right there. We kind of just had a chill day today besides the stuff we had going on today. Um, so, if you are new, my name is Martina. This is Carolyn. Sorry, excuse me. This is my time to see journey. Uh, if you are, um, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified for all the new videos I post. If you're not new, you, you know what to do. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Oh. I think it's cool, all the